stretch forming. The stretch forming is the only kind of forming that, that we do or that, that's done, period, that compression is not an issue. <coughs> and the reason for that is that in the case of stretch forming, what happens is that you have a section and you pull on both ends of that section and you pull it into its elastic state okay, between the yield and the tensile and then you wrap it around the die. And in doing so, it never compresses, it only elongates. And this is used primarily for aluminum extrusions where there's like lots of channels and things like that. Um, it ends up being basically distortion free. And because there are really no moving parts, um, if you do have like little channels, you can actually put spacers and things like in there because it's not actually moving on the die and it can be painted material, it won't scratch depending on what the die material is, that type of thing. Um, so this is primarily done for the aluminum industry, although we have done other stuff. We've done some uh, pewter for bars and you know that type of stuff. Um, again, this is a picture of use, using stretch forming to do sheet. Again, the jaws grab a hold of both ends, they pull it. Once they've got it past the yield point, then they wrap it over the die. In this case, the die is actually pushing up underneath it for the sheet. So this is a picture of our stretch former. We're stretch forming some aluminum extrusion at, at when this picture was taken. Um, again, every die has to be unique. Um, particularly if you're dealing in an extrusion that has lots of channels and things like that, and they all have to be cut into that die. But the beauty of aluminum is, is that it's soft enough that you can use wood, right? So this die was actually created on a, on a CNC router table, and it's very <coughs> inexpensive compared to having to make that out of nothing. 